Hello and welcome to this screencast about Mickey Bricks. So today I'm gonna show you how to build a little frog, which is actually a old Lego set uh, from 2006 if I remember, and the reference number is uh, 7606. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about uh, the scene. Um, if you've got a mouse with uh, three buttons, you can use it, it's gonna be a lot easier. So if you use the right button and that you click and move the scene, you're gonna actually move it, translate it. Um, if you press the middle button and move your mouse, you're gonna rotate the scene. And you can also zoom in and zoom out using the scroll wheel, like that. Um, if you've got a, only a trackpad or a one button mouse, you can use your keyboard. If you press the A key and move your mouse, you're gonna rotate the scene. Um, with the shift key and the mouse, you're gonna move the scene, and with the control key and the mouse, you're gonna zoom in and zoom out. So let's start. First of all, I need a plate. I'm gonna find it here. So this is a 2 by 4 step plate, which is this one. I'm gonna change the color to dark green, and I want also to rotate it by 90 degrees. So for that, I'm gonna use the green arrow here around the y-axis, which is the green. So the red is the x-axis, and the blue is the z. So I grab the arrow and spin around with my mouse, and this is done. I will need now a couple of hinges that I'm gonna find here. They have the same color, no need to change. So I put this one here, and then the second part that I'm gonna rotate with this angle. Um, you can note that the new part up here at the origin of a selected one, if none is selected, it's gonna appear at the origin of the scene, which is zero, zero, zero. So yeah, here we are, one more here. Again, like that, we good. So now I'm gonna put a plate, one by four stud, which is this one. I need to put it up, rotate it, move it backward. I'm gonna change the color to a bright yellowish green. So now what I want to do is to duplicate this part. So here, two solution. I can either select the part to duplicate or the group it works too and click on this button or otherwise I can just press the D key. As you can see I've got a second part which is the same as the other one. I can now move it like that. So let's put the next part which is this plate one by two. It's gonna come now here, move it to its location like that. Let's add another one here. Up. I'm gonna move my scene, it's gonna be easier to grab. And here we are. So now I need to add a couple of slopes for the legs. We find them here. Yep, this is this one. Move it up. Back this one, the same for the second leg here. Back, rotate it and change the color. Yeah, here we are. I've got actually now a few other inches to put, so I'm gonna find them here. And this one again, actually. And Need to move it in the front. But I guess, yeah, everything's aligned. The second one. Can actually close. I'm gonna put another one that I'm gonna move. Yep. And to finish the last one, I'm gonna rotate it this way actually. Oh, and I need to put two plates on there. 
each of them. Let's do that now. So the plate, one by two. Here, I put it down, I change the color, it's gonna be easier to see, distinguish, like that. Yep, and I can even duplicate it and move it all the way at the back of the last one. Here we are with a little, 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 little frag. So what I need to do is now to add a couple of slots, which are those ones here. Yep, I move it up, change the color, it's a dark green again, like that. Move it on the side, duplicate it, move it. We're good. I've got a couple of other slopes, the same as for the real legs. It's a little bit too high. Move it here. Rotate it. 180. Change the color. Duplicate the part. Move it here. Do the same rotation. And here we are. So now what I need to do is to add a block. A brick, a 2x4 stub brick, which is here. Rotate it, move it up, move it in the front, and I think that the color is this one, the dark green. Um, yep, so we're gonna keep going. We need another type of bricks, which is the reversed one, this one. Should appear soon. Yes, here we are. I need to rotate it also. Yep, we're good. Um, let's keep going. So I need now those ones, I guess. Yes, should appear so I can move it up. Oop. Do the rotation, locate it properly. Like that, I'm gonna duplicate this part. And move it. Uh, we're not too far now. I'm finishing it. This one. I'm gonna rotate it. Duplicate it again. Move it here. So now a special brick, which is uh, this one, if I'm not wrong. Change the color to a medium stone gray. Move it to its place. Rotate it, duplicate the part, move it, rotate the part again, and here we are. So on the top, I need two plates. They are the same, so one by three stud. This one here. I can move it up, it's the wrong color, I need to change it to dark green. I duplicate this part and move it on the side. So now, the last thing that I need to do, they are the eyes. So I'm going to create a folder. I can move it at the bottom of my list by drag and drop. I'm going to rename it I. Press the Enter key. So now I need to select a special plate. Circles, I think. It might be right. And click the run plate one by one. So I won't see it because it's going to appear in, at the origin, 0, 0, 0. So I'm going to move it. Yeah, I'm about right. So I'm going to rotate this one. Yeah, and I need to clip it to this one. So actually, I'm going to change the grid, go to a small grid. It's going to be a lot easier for me. And I'm gonna grab the arrow, move it up. It's a lot easier. And put it at the back. And here we are. So now I'm gonna add parabola. So this one. It should appear here. So I can go back to the medium grid. Change the color of this part, which is a white one. And move it. I think it's right. Yes. And the next part is the eye, the black eye, which I put here. 
So then I'm going to block it and duplicate the eye to put it on the other side. D key. I put this one here. I can rotate it actually. Yes, about like that. And move it. Ping. It's going to work, but actually I need to move it a little bit, I guess. Here we are. And this is my frag, which is finished. Then. So I want to publish it. So I'm going to change the main name, call it frag. I'm going to close the folder, choose a proper view for my little frag. Yeah. I'm going to like this one because the uh, preview will depend on the orientation of your scene when you're going to save. So I go in properties and I want to make it public so everybody can see it. This is an official set from LEGO. I know the reference which is 7606. Press enter or otherwise on the little magnifier and it finds all the details for me. So I'm good here. I can click OK and you're going to need to uh, sign up or log in if you want to save your model of course so it's already done so i need to go in file save or save as i'm going to select another set and i'm going to choose creator folder i'm going to save it here now i click on save just wait a little bit for my model to be saved and here we are normally if i go in the Discover menu. I should sit at the top of the list. Yeah, here is my fracking. Um, I hope that this uh, screencast uh, is useful for you and that you're going to be able to create your own models and publish them here on the Kebrexa. Bye bye.